a 23 year old working at a consulting firm plans a weekend getaway to a Woodbury rental with her friends. Little did she know what was about to unfold during their stay. Welcome to Fierce to Fathom, Woodbury Getaway. Fierce to Fathom, Episode 5. Woodbury Getaway. December 8th. Oh, okay, we're we not doing like the uh need a coffee to get done with the day. Okay. Yeah, not a bad little office space. You know my wife actually kinda works in places like this. Hmm. Vehicles. Uh, let's see. Um, what do I gotta do here? Where's the coffee place? Coffee over here? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it'd be over. Oh, here it is. My hands were full. And it needed water. Okay, it needs water. Dumb me, huh? Hands were full. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Place that in there. Now can I? Okay, here we go. Hooray! I'm getting my coffee. I'll take a look outside again. Are there any stalkers out there out here? Or? Oh no, there's people out here walking though. Guess I can relax for a while. Needed to put a lid on it. <laughs> put a sock to it while you're at it. This is a lid. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was about to say, this is a damn lid. Just put it on. Needed to use the restroom. Playroom. Restrooms. Well, okay, how come we don't get one of these? Because in my hometown, you get nothing like this. You're either having to stand up and wait for your... Wait for your crapping hole to... Oh, wait. Well, I'm a guy, but I think I'm playing as a woman. I was about to send her... About to send her into the... To the boys' room. Hands are full. You know what, I'm just gonna... Drink my coffee until I'm done. Oh, am I done? I was done with it. Okay. <laughs> I was done with it. Throw in the trash. Oh. Oh. Come on. I want you to go in there. Mom. Okay, good enough. Always throw away your trash. Never drop it on the floor. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I got a little life thing for my toilet. <laughs> It's like Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Uh, hello? Oh my god, fuck it, god damn, what the hell? Fuck you, old man, what are you doing in the women's bathroom? Oh wait, you're in the, uh... Whoa, man, I'm sorry, didn't know you, <laughs> anyone was in here. Let's see, uh... It's okay. Almost came... Work a heart attack, old man. I'll kill you. I'm so, so sorry. You should have knocked before I came in. But there isn't usually anyone in here this late. No, it's fine. You're just doing your job. Yeah, you should have knocked. Again, I'm sorry. Okay, dude. I just said it was okay. I usually do knock. Okay, I'm not going to I'm not gonna repeat all that. Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. <laughs> well, yeah, that's me, actually. <laughs> what if it was me? Well, that's really rude. Well, I needed to get back to do it. But getting that need, 
need to get back to it. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Have a good night. God, that is so creepy as hell. You know, I work as a custodian, actually. Yeah, that's actually my job. Uh, I've always have to knock before I go into any bathrooms whatsoever. Because, I mean, really. I mean, even though it's not really a rule you have to follow, but it would be a good courtesy to do it. Hello? Hello? Let's see, uh... Hello? Hey, Orp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything alright? Yeah, my phone's been acting up lately. My battery dies at the worst times. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh. Okay. I would even call and client earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Work has been overwhelming lately. Or just need more overtime. Damn, overwhelming. Mark, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Yeah. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. I was going to do it after no work. Worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey, okay. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Sure. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Okay. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Sure, I'll find some affordable. It's be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. I should really make the booking right, now. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. All right, yeah. talk to you later, Harp. I wonder why you're excited. Okay. Go ahead and start booking. Let's see, uh... Is there, like, any kind of thing for crime rates? <laughs> Let's see, uh... Okay, how do I do this, really? I see Vertex. Oh, wait, no, this is not my uh, uh, rainbow sh Browser. Um. How do I, how do I search this stuff? Uh. Orbit. Light solutions. Um. Bear. Oh, it's like a little mini game. <laughs> I'll worry about that one later. Uh, let's see. Uh, company amounts. Oh, this is work stuff. Let's see, error, unable to execute. Cute. Okay, Woodbury. Oh, do I just. CryptoCabin.com. I'm just typing random shit. <laughs> okay, search in it. Let's see, where are you going? Wow, I feel like such a hard at work guy. <laughs> Let's see, post a, post a cabin. Or search. Okay. Let's see, $350 a night. $149. Below 100 bucks. It looks like the only one that's affordable is, uh, this one. Okay. 
Hey, $99 a night, I mean. Two beds. Uh, 1.5 share bathroom. Two bedroom. Uh, three guests. Okay, yeah, that's a... Uh, your booking has been confirmed. Print. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. Well, I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happens to that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early twenties, I worked at a big consulting firm in the in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth. Which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone the social life. A job paid well, sure, but as expense of my mental pay, peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my co uh, college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to Roar, Vermont. It sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin. Close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. Okay. How oh, is this, Mike? Hi. Oh, Michael J. Carter. Um, how do I? Um, I just skipped. Oh. Um. They pull into the parking garage now. You downstairs yet? Give me a minute. Oh, okay. Now it's actually re my piping. Let's see. Oh, there you are. There, Mike. You, Mike. Harp. <laughs> oh, God. That's still how you hug people. What the hell? Let's say, why don't you hug me like you missed me? Uh, just a test hug to see if you sm if you smell first. <laughs> Fair enough, but for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and give you. You look good. So are you. You don't look bad. <laughs> hey, you can, you can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. All right. Oh. There we go. All right then, Harp, are you ready to hit the road? Let's do this. Hey, wait a second, where's Nora? But you're not gonna kill me already, are you? Not gonna die, am I? 4.26 p.m. Or isn't it weird we used to dream about escaping our college and now here we are trying to escape from a life we wanted to live Let's see couldn't wait to get out of, get out into the real world funny how that works speaking of jobs how's it going so far working on this project that uses machine learning to predict marketing uh, trends, it's pretty cutting-edge stuff. Not like you're <laughs> shaping the future. Not quite. Not quite Tony Stark yet. <laughs> but I'll take it. Let's see. You know, I never understood what do uh, consultants even do. 
Explain. That sounds like boring work. It's just a very boring conversation, no offense. The harp, do you, do you ever miss college? Only the cafeteria food. Holy, I miss those tacos. Let's see, what was that? Um, it's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a confirmation text from you. I just wanted to check in. Why would we look at the bus? Hey. Hey, did you see that? See what? There was a school bus. By the old house. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's ideas of turning into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've afraid people do that on the internet. Okay, uh, please confirm when you check in and travel safe. Oh, yeah, guy, okay. Oh. oh, snap, that was close. It came out of nowhere. <laughs> Let's see, that was close. Huh. Wonder what kind of message from the universe. Oh boy. <laughs> okay guys, so actually, um yeah, how far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from here. Driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. Huh. But um so yeah, Woodbury Getaway is a um, fifth installment to the uh, Fears to Fathom. It's actually the last episodic horror game of Fears to Fathom that we're ever going to get as a season. That's right, guys. I said as a season. Which I'm kind of thinking they're going to have a season two with this. Which I actually would really, really, really love that very much. If they ever get a season two with this. Cause I'm not done playing these type of games. I really, I really want to play more of these type of games. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, these games are type of beautiful. Oh, and also snowflake. So, yeah. <laughs> Five fourteen p.m. Hmm. Yo, Harp, check that out. Check what out. Oh, pizza. I want to go get pizza. Can we go get pizza? If I swear to God, if we get pizza, I'll love you forever. Yes. Yes, pizza. Oh, God, I love pizza. Up at 24-7. You know, Harp, I got to tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. Oh, yeah, they definitely are. This pizzeria what is ex exactly where it appeared on the GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too! Alright then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go! Prepare to land. Mm. Yes, I love you forever. I really hope this guy is not the killer. If he is, I'm gonna be very sad. Because he's such a nice guy, and he's such a sar sarcastic kind of guy as well. Come on in, Harp. Apply thank you. You have any recommendations? Get the cheese. Just the cheese. instead of me i've been working here for six years and i never get to report somewhere nice listen phil huh. i'm just clearly the better looking one you can worry about where you'll report once you get that rhinoplasty rhinoplasty why would i need rhinoplasty 
My face looks perfectly fine. You could also use some Botox while you're at it. Actually, maybe you should just work as a studio light engineer behind the camera. What the hell, dude? <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. Oh, yeah, I think so, too. You fine folks know what you want to eat. <laughs> we'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. Are you, miss? Hmm. Cheese. All right, what's your second slice? Cheese. The third. I just want fucking cheese. <laughs> hey, drinks for you, folks. Um, that should cover us. Just pizza today, thanks. All right, then six hot slices come right up. That'll be twenty-two fifty. Twenty-two fifty for just three slices each. Oh come on, that's ridiculous. Okay, when you get three slices over at Pizza Hut in my hometown, you get three slices of pizza for only just five bucks. And we're talking about each here. Five bucks. It's just ten bucks. I mean, they again, plus taxes. I don't know how much taxes they charge in this area, but... Your order number is 27. And just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. <laughs> Looks like we had to have a long sniff too. Let's see, it smells good in here. Oh yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that sniff again. Oh, so good. I love pizza. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. You guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. Okay. Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up and to let you in. Okay. Oh, <laughs> odd. <laughs> That's the only thing I'll probably say. Odd. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I guess I'm. Guess I'm done with that. Am I? Wait a minute. The key will be in the lockbox set by the front door. The code is five one seven six. Oh, five one. Okay, it's a combination. Holy crap, why did I not get this earlier? 5176 for the lockbox. Okay. There we go. I don't know why I, I didn't think of looking at that message. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. But we do. Don't act like you don't know what, I, what I'm talking about. Um. Or number 27, you're, you folks are right here. Alright. Let's go get that pizza. Oh, boxes. Okay, well, this is kind of understandable. Now, is this three slices or is this... All right, you folks are all set. Thank you. This is so cheap. You couldn't put it on a plate, dude. <laughs> you couldn't put it on a plate. Oh, damn. It, this pizza slaps. Can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb-ass pizza. I know, right? <laughs> I'm on. <laughs> here, here. Uh, I'm a. Uh, welcome to my mukbang video gaming channel. 
here today. We're going to be mukbanging on this three slice pizza from a hard game called the Woodbury Getaway. <laughs> <laughs> why? I, I don't know why I snort like that. I just like I'm so <laughs> damn hard. You actually eat the crust. Yeah, wasteful not to, don't you think? I guess, but you wouldn't really eat the pill of the orange, would you? I'll think about that for a second. <laughs> yeah, I'll think about that. I think I heard from an orange peeling. It's like it's actually supposed to be good. Isn't it? I mean, I heard it's good, but I heard it's also not good. I'll leave down in the comment below if you guys disagree or agree if you guys think of an orange peel is good as the orange, but not good as the... or not good at all. Okay, back to my bug bang. <laughs> Round two, fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, man, this is, good t this is taking forever. <laughs> oh god. Hey there, my friends. Uh, hello there. I saw y'all pulled in driving. Uh, that's a nice old truck. Uh, are you just watching who pulls in and taking notes? <laughs> that's right. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Seems like we might have been going the same direction. Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Where's your car? Who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass time with? Okay, yeah, that's creepy. Y'all wouldn't even know if I was there. Why is a church mouse and twice as nice? So what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? No! I'm just kidding. Okay, yeah, sure. Hold on a second. Don't you think we need to discuss this? Is then uh let's see. Yeah, sure, feel free to jump in. <laughs> I'm not sure if we have extra space for another passenger. Twenty two. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't think of that. <laughs> Surely you could find just a little bit of room for me. I could ride in the middle, hell, I'll ride in the bed. We would give you a ride, but there just isn't any space. Gotta be shitting me, lady. No space? I know there's a mill seat. You're scaring me or something? Sorry. You ain't too kind, are you? I'm sorry! Unkind people met unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening us? No, no, no. Y'all got me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired, that's all. Okay. I bet I'm gonna regret that decision. Are you serious? How are you gonna let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? I was just trying to help. Yeah, well, sometimes helping can put you in a bad set. Okay, nope. <laughs> Alright, Dad. <laughs> uh, let's see. Being harmless. You really never know these days. For all we know, he could have been another... Uh, Ted Bun Ted Bundy Harp. Well go back to mug banging. I'm having this bad feeling they I'm having a bad feeling he might have jumped into our truck. I <laughs> Let's see, uh, the burp. Uh, uh, Excuse me. Place to get up. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> Let's see. All right, then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we could beat the worst of the snow. Let's see. Are we close? Let's see. If my GPS is right, it should be about another hour. Give me the key. 
Harv, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? I'm gonna drive so you could get a break. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harv. <laughs> You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. <laughs> See, give me the keys so we can go. Be afraid if you don't give me the keys. <laughs> Fine, but there's no, there's no, there is one condition. What is it? I get first choice of the bedrooms. When or if we get there. Deal. I keep. Stop pushing. You don't get too close to me, you. Hello? Dude, that's following me? Or creeping? Are you hiding somewhere? Come on, let's go. Okay, I'm looking. I'm looking around, making sure that there's no uh, creepy perverts with hitchhiking type of skills. <laughs> hitchhiking skills. Okay. This has been pleasant so far. Even when we talked to that hitchhiker, it was so pleasant. I'm probably going to regret the choice I made, am I? 5.49 p.m. In Vermont, this is your host on WKWB, your hometown station, bringing you the best tunes to warm your hearts on this chilly night. As we embrace the first snowfall of the season, there's nothing like a perfect song to set the mood. So here's a track that'll make you feel right at home. Coming up next, Be Sincere by Ebb and Ultras. Stay warm and stay tuned. Ow! Dang game that glitched! <laughs> uh, made me not drive so good. Did I hear the song in Iron Bark Lookout? God, suck at driving in games. I think I almost wrecked the uh, the RV in Iron Bark Lookout. Okay, is this Woodbury? I think this is Woodbury. Not bad little area, I will say that much. The shackled by loss. <laughs> Jesus will set you free. Let's see. Woodbury, Vermont. I keep a ride on my side. I like the words out of my mouth. Seems to light up my life. I'm connected to a heart like the moon and the tides. And besides, no one can take a rubbing out of my life. I think the words come together well, and that's no cool. I drove past our cabin at first. Wait a minute, where's, where's the cabin? But without you, feel so hesitant. I can't lie. I'm trying to be a millionaire before I'm 25. Maybe that right there. Maybe I can make it there. I ain't trying to slow down because I'm time for time. I'm all in, I'm all in. Are we getting out of here, Harp? Um, tell me, uh, hang on, let me, let me fix myself here. Jesus, give me a second, Jesus. And this should be it. Okay, there we go. I thought you were just gonna keep driving there. I'm sorry, I, I didn't didn't know where it was. It's snowing. Jesus. Yeah, quite little quiet little house. <laughs> yeah. Let's open. Let's see, five. 
One. The seven. Okay. Not a bad looking cabin. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. Well, so nice in here. Right, but I really need to hit the uh, John. <laughs> Take your time, Mike. Sure, while I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. I got it. The house was cozy and well furnished. What's with the eerie music? This is getting too creepy, bro. You don't need to be doing this. None of this crap at all. Oh, fuck it. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, Harp. <laughs> God, why am I why am I so scared? You okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. You just had three slices. Let's see, um well all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Harp. Anyway, this place looks cra crazy nice. Got that rustic charm. You just don't seem you just don't see anymore. Nice to get away from the city for a bit. For sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be back. Wait. You can go ahead and uh, start unpacking your bags. Oh, wait. It's me that has to go potty. This looks to be recent. Okay, my uh, my character really has to pee, which um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do that little bathroom thing, and I'm gonna I got I got I got go into the john as well. So um, yeah, I'll be right back. Hey Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Plan on the catch dinner. Ah, you have mentioned that would be pretty epic to addition to the trip. Let's do it. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed, but we can both give it a shot. Okay. Yeah, I gotta grab me a shed. I mean, I mean a fishing rod, not a shed. Let's see. You want to grab the other rod, Harp? Yeah, just give me a second. All right. Oh snap! I saw a killer recipe for a baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp, though. You up for the challenge? I think I would be. Well, first things first, we need the right bait for the carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some ca catch some carp, Harp. Let me grab the bait. This... Lord. Oh, okay. Common carp and common carp. All right, it's this way. All right. 
I got the golden lore, sweet corn. Okay, I call this chair. You can't call it. That's right, I called it. Okay. Okay, this is actually a pretty smart idea I'm doing. Put it on the hook, okay. I think it's probably a little too far out. Okay, no, it's not too far out. Aha! Oh, bluegill. Throw back. What we try over there? We need to catch three carp. That would be good and golden. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come here, fishy. Another bluegill. I'm not getting any good luck here, are I? How about this way? There we go. Good clean casting. Okay. Go. Hmm. Come on, really? I want carp. Give me carp. I swear, a bluegill. Go back. Come on, do it, get it. Come on. Okay. Oh, finally, keep. Let's do it. Wait a minute. Oh, we're done. Okay. I guess he kind of liked the other two. I dropped this fishing rod. Yeah, maybe he caught the others. Let me check to make sure my recording's still going. Okay, that's still going. Alright. Did I open up that door? I don't want to say it. Seems a little odd. I don't remember opening up this door. Okay. While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? <laughs> yeah, sure. I on it. Jesus, I'm pretty sure it's going to give me a list. Oh, okay. Let's see. Salt. Black pepper. Paprika. The Italian seasoning. Ginger garlic paste. Olive oil. But yeah, that's it. And uh, yogurt's going to probably be in the fridge. And then, yeah, there it is. Eight. Okay. What do I need to do now? You might throw in the fish in the in the marinade in the casserole while I chop these veggies. Oh yeah, we got a lot of fish. The two carbs. The marinade and the veggies. How could you add the veggies? 
I really, really need to go for 30 minutes at 400. Hmm. Yay, I did it. <laughs> I cooked. Those carp are going to taste amazing. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the in the room next to the living room. See which one? Grab whatever catches your eye. Okay, it should be in here. I know you say you guys say Ouija board right there, but let's play some chess. Now nah, let's play with the Ouija board. Yeah, I just, I just, I don't know why, but I'm always intrigued to Ouija boards, even though if I try playing other games. Yeah, I'm sure you, uh, I'm sure Molly did. I can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Wow, that's a great idea. No, it's not. This is a bad worst idea. The worst case scenario here. Okay. Watch out for spiders down here. <laughs> Watch out for spiders. I still can't open up that door still. Oh wow. It's uh the door's closed. Oh yeah, that's right, I closed it. You know it make this evening spookier. Let's turn off all these lights and see if this thing really works. Okay, here you go, you set up the board. Anyways, do you know how this works, Harper? Yes. All right, then you go first. Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? Oh. No way, are you moving it? <laughs> that wasn't me, it was probably you. Okay, I got one too. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? I uh, see. Did you live in this house? I? X? My turn. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Give us a sign. Let us know that you're here. Um... Oh. Oh, wait, what? Um, Mike, wait for me. Oh, boy. <laughs> There's some freaky shit going on down there, Harp. That was weird. Let's see. The weird part is that you ditched me. What the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your ass, too. It would be nice if you have checked. Have you ever heard of fire, fire flight? Cindy, I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> oh, God. He, he seems like you feel so bad. Yeah, the food's ready anyway. Yeah, I think our show is about to come on. 
You want to watch TV while we eat? Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay. Still having a little bit of worries around this house. Hey, Jeffrey. Asparagus chocolate cakes with a spoonful of mayonnaise. A mayonnaise. <laughs> Very popular in Romania, where mayonnaise flows down the river. It's like a mayonnaise water park. So first, we are going to prepare the asparagus. Season these with a lot. the bones after letting these simmer in the salt bath we can start making the chocolate we take a couple cocoa beans <laughs> cocoa beans yes, let's see uh, it was really good yeah we definitely do make a great team don't we Gotta keep that fancy flavor. yeah i thought we were taking a break from work not work i'm just waiting on shipment of details for my new ds I'll be right back. All right, I'll clean up here. This is going to taste like shit. But here you are anyway, listening to my cooking instructions. <laughs> Didn't I just hear, this is going to taste like shit. <laughs> Maybe because of this shit. Dishwashing. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? Oh boy. This is my room. Walk slow. Oh my fucking god! Fuck! Gotcha! Fuck you! Oh my god! What the hell, Mike? <laughs> I totally got you. What the hell, dude? That was fun, wasn't it? It's not cool! Come on, it was just a joke. Joke? Screw you! Ah. <sighs> you wanna go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? I'll get back to you for this. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. Who are you, dude? Alright, you're on. I'll count to ten. I decided to hide in the basement. Okay. Oh, I forgot to forgot to shut the door. Um. Oh, well, he took care of it for him. Dang, the mic didn't get that. I can sneak. Oh shit. Oh, come on. I thought I was going to be able to sneak away. Damn it. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. 
All right, my turn to hide now. Bear close those. Ah, uh, bear close your eyes and start counting. All right, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where are you now? Here I come. Here I come. Anybody in here? Anybody in here? Oh, aha! Got you. Hey on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I didn't. I swear on my life, I heard something. See this attic access door in here? Hey. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. It's just a cat. <laughs> hey, kitty. I got two cats, actually. This is actually pretty cute. Meow. <laughs> you said right, kitty cat. All right. It was just a cat. It's okay. Well, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Maybe we could give her some of the carp after I come and find you again. Oh, come on. Decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. Okay, I'm just going to sit way right here. You're never going to find me here. You probably won't even bother looking outside. Okay. <laughs> All right. hell um okay we need okay okay game over game over ah oh, there you are um you see that damn harvard took me a while to figure out that you left the house anything worth doing is worth doing well my turn close those pretty eyes of yours wait a minute oh okay that a cop car? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right here now, here I come. Sorry about that. Pollen's in the air. You guys hear that? Oh, sweet motherfucking! Whoa, okay, you're a little close. How are you in here again? Fixing the faucet, you got a problem with that? You should have told us. This is my house. I didn't need to check in with you every time I fix something. 
Never see A1 fix the faucet with a hammer before. Ever fix me. You gotta fix me faucets yourself. Young man. <laughs> uh, how long have you been here? Uh, maybe you think you might fix it tomorrow? Yes. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, cops in Woodbury, son. Think they're gonna arrest the homeowner fixing a faucet? Well, probably because they're breaking into the damn house all the time. If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave it to you. Leave you to it. Okay, yeah, go, 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 go cast a spell. That didn't work. Yeah, just go away. <laughs> I bet he's gonna come back. Okay. Now what we get? After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. By this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. Okay, looking into the dead night. Who is it? Uh, oh, <laughs> Harp, are you still awake? Let's see. Yeah, do you mind if I come in? I like to talk about something. Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a trap. Storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora is okay. You'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry, I'm here to keep you safe. That's nice of you. Hey, there's no problem at all, guy. <laughs> Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. It's been a strange day. You believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place? Uh, see, he does own the place. Yeah, I wish we... He would just cut it out. I thought you would maybe be scared in here by yourself. Yeah, I'm a little freaked out. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you come sit by me, said me. Um, okay, what is all this gonna be about? Are you the killer? Okay. Now what? Missed what? Um, where is this coming from? Uh... Well, um, I remember it really well. It was pretty awkward. <laughs> oh, they did stuff before. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. What did that say? Just blew out. It's 
snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? Huh. Well, that was the most fake crying I've ever heard of. Let's see. What a timing, huh? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, let's see. Oh, I stay here. No, 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 sir. I don't. I don't stay here. Let's see. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. Lock in the front door. Okay. Anybody down here? Are you gonna freak me the hell out down down there? Okay. So why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Um, you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Don't worry, I've driven in worse. You know what? He's just a young guy, just confused and stuff, so I'll just, I'll give him up. Drive safe, Mike. There we go. I think the door locks on, Mac. Up. Uh, exactly. Well, it's time for me to hit the hay, or hit the hay. Told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. Door. Okay. Someone was at the front door. Mike? The realization that someone was outside this late at night. But it's that hitchhiker. That guy who wanted to get a ride from us. You have any idea what time it is? Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. Let's see. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. See, you can sit on the porch while you wait. Uh, you're not coming in in a story. No, I'm not kidding you. Uh unkind. Uh get out or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see you your fellow's truck out here either. Dialing nine one one right now. Now get the fuck off. Go now. Well, let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. Okay, I did not. Man, the door seems irrelevant compared to how tired I was. 
Okay. Sweet. Awesome. Okay. Oh, okay. What just happened? The a text Rick. Rick, sorry to bother you again, but can you come back over? There's someone we met driving down here. Uh, down there. He was banging on the door and started threatening me. Pretty sure. I'm pretty scared. I think I hear him moving around outside the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? Oh, Let's see. Okay, thank God it's Rick. All right, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> well, thank God you're here. Okay, so I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Oh. Okay, you're a little too close to comfort. By the way, where's your friend? Um, yeah, he's uh, he'll be back soon. Yeah, my friends will be back soon. Uh, well, you got your hammer for her. you here to fix more weird looking faucets? I still don't understand how. What makes a person think they can fix faucets with a hammer? Storm like this bring out all kinds of folks. All of them know when they to stay away. Come back over. What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been in rental for weeks. Weeks. Oh, what? What? Everything okay, miss? Yeah, awfully late for texting, isn't it? What are you talk? What are you talking to? Um, my friends, they're almost here. Is that so? Yeah, th so thanks for coming by. See, I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. <laughs> yeah, I just overreacted. Um. Yeah, leave right now. You heard me. This is my f the the is my fucking house. Um, I will leave when I want to. Uh, leave get out of here before I call the cops. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. What the? Busting the door down. The knob or something. Will it leave?
Oh, for God's sake. Really? Oh, thanks a lot. Shit. Shit. Uh, oh. oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Somebody's pulling up in the drive through driveway. Let me just check real quickly if my gameplay is still going. What? Oh! Fuck! Oh, come on! Oh, shit! Come on! Are you serious? Are you all right? Just got done. I've called 911. So there are cops here. Oh, is this me? I'm safe. <laughs> okay, this has got me. I'm safe. Oh, thank God. Hi. Oh, thank God you guys are safe. I'm glad I'm safe. I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that man we saw secretly lived in the cabin when it was being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. The cops seemed to think that there was more intent behind the man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after that he didn't ask any more questions. We, he, we think he knew more than he was laying on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. <laughs> okay. Well, that was, um, okay. So that was, um, fierce to fathom Woodbury Gilway guys. That was. This was freaky, I will say. This was really freaky. I never felt such a rush like this, it, like, ever since um, Iron Bark Lookout. Yeah, that was it. The rush of somebody breaking in was uh, Carson House and Woodbury Gill and Iron Bark Lookout. Sorry, I'm kind of lost for words for a second. I was being chased by, chased by an old killer. <laughs> So thank you all so much for watching, and if you guys really enjoyed this, leave a like, a comment, do not forget to subscribe. I do apologize for not playing games much often. I've been wanting to like just wait on the actual interesting games, because all I've been playing was just like short games or anything like that, which I will be going back to three terrifying games. And do stick around for more animations, because I'm going to be doing those more often since, uh, as I will be waiting on gameplays when things more interesting games come out. So I'll be doing more animations and doing three terrifying games and then interesting games. 
So, uh, so yeah, I'm actually going to be playing that out, the animations, and uh, which I will be busy with more animations coming soon, which I can't really say of when, but because animations, they do take a lot of work, but it'll be coming soon. So thank you all so much for watching again. And definitely check out my merch shop. It's definitely there. And the donations to this channel will be appreciated. I am done. And I will see you all in the next video.